Now let's see what we got here. Yeah, I finally figured out how to make my phone turn into landscape mode, so that's a start, right? But I didn't figure out what I'm going to set it up on, but I got this. I got this. Okay. Good morning, pop stars. Nice to see you again for the second day in a row. I want to practice doing this live stream thing a little bit more because I really enjoy doing it. And I think it's fun to experiment with some makeup looks inspired by coordinates. So today, I guess I'm going to show you my coordinate first because yesterday you didn't get to see my dress. But if you'd like to check it out, I posted pics on my Instagram that is also Cake Pop Clara. But starting out, I am going to show you my outfit sans headwear because I am still doing my makeup. But this is a very casual coordinate that I picked out today because I looked outside this morning and it was just so snowy. It had been so nice and clear and warm for the last couple of days. But now I have to think, oh, what kind of shoes do I have that will actually withstand the mighty power of the snow? So without any further ado, here is the coordinate I picked out. So I had just um, gotten this cut sew from Baby the Starshine Bright. I got it off Lace Market. It's really cheap, cheaper than a regular t-shirt actually. And that's really, really, really nice. So I want to start incorporating more stuff like this into my wardrobe because of things like softball practice and going to school. I think it's a fun way to still show appreciation for y'all Japanese brands. So yeah, you can see this cut so has the Baby the Starshine Bright um, bunny on there. This is like Alice inspired, which I love, which I felt matches the skirt that I have perfectly. This skirt is the Alice in Funfair skirt, and I thought that was just so cute and matched perfectly. I'm also wearing angelic pretty socks, which might be a little bit rolled down because I just went to the grocery store, but you can kind of see these too. Ooh, that's real nice. I'm going to take a second to share this to Facebook so that everybody knows that I'm going live, and then I'm going to start the look. Okay, share, that's nice, share to Facebook, yes baby, is it going to work, ooh, I do want to start making um, thumbnails for these too, I think that will help a lot, but I think a good first step was to actually start um, doing this in portrait, or not portrait, opposite of portrait, landscape mode, okay. So I'm just going to get ahead and start off with this look. And if you remember from yesterday, I couldn't find my primer spray and so I have this here. This is the NYX um, First Face Primer. Uh, I like it. It could be better, but I actually also unpacked my new facial lotion, which I have here. This is the Studio 35 Beauty. I'm not really sure how good this is for your skin because I just picked it up from um, Walgreens, but I believe that it's actually really helped me. I think lotion is an important step to not looking like a scaly little demon like I usually do. And I also have done my skincare routine this morning and I am excited to show you that video soon. I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna do to make the video pop and be really fun, but I was thinking, cause I went to the grocery store this morning already, I was thinking, Oh, maybe I'll just have strangers touch my face. I'll carry around hand sanitizer and be like, hey, look how soft it is. Because you can even see it now. I didn't put on any product yet. And you can see how smooth and soft my skinny looks. Ooh, ooh. That's from the glasses. I was like, what is that? Okay, so let's get started. Okay, I am starting with this moisturizer. It says that it is oil-free for sensitive skin. Moisturizing lotion provides hydration that lasts all day. Specifically formulated for sensitive skin. Hey, that's me. So let's get started with this a bit. Okay. Ooh, that's fancy. Let's see, is this lighting good? Does that help make it worse? It's like one side of my face is lit. 
Let's move it a little bit closer. And then move me a little bit this way. I think that will help a bit. Ooh, I just got the lotion on my bump. Okay. There we go. That's pretty nice. Okay, so now I'm just going to rub this into my skin in some little circular motions. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Feels real, real nice. I haven't been using a moisturizer in so long since I ran out of the one that I got in Ipsy. So I think this is really, really going to help my skincare routine. So, and I think this one actually also has some SPF in it, which is important. Ooh, you can feel the stickiness in my little face. Okay. So I'm going to go grab my tea because I got some of that to do this little chit chat in the morning. Glasses annoy me. I have to get new contacts. My softball team got super mad at me because I was only wearing one contact to practice for a long time, and that definitely, definitely affected how I played because it was the first time playing with actual depth perception. Let me grab my team. Okay. This is some um, English breakfast tea. I like to drink it instead of coffee if I'm actually not that tired in the morning, which I did go to bed early last night and woke up early, so I'm really proud about that. Um, before we start, I'm actually also going to try to share this to uh, another platform. Let's see. Can I share it to Instagram? Okay. Oh, I rotated that. Ooh, that's a nice shot of my makeup counter. Okay. So if you're watching the replay, feel free to watch it in 1.5 or 2 times speed. If you don't know how to do that, click the little settings because I know I am a bit of a slow talker. But now I just wanted to get into this makeup look. So let's do it. So I already put my moisturizer on. And now I am going to start with this NYX primer spray, which I have forgotten yesterday because it was so packed. So I just do a little spritz. Make sure you don't get it in your eyes and mouth holes. Hey, what's up, Cody Lee? Nice to see you here. Thanks for dropping by. Oh my gosh, I miss you, girl. Um, yeah, so this is basically just how I do my makeup routine, but I'm inspiring it by this casual Baby Starshine Bright Coordinate. And so, now that we have our primer spray on, I am definitely going to go for my concealer. Um, I like to use a green base. Yeah, yeah. And I also, um, like to use... This I got in my Ipsy. This is really nice. It's basically like theater makeup. I mentioned that yesterday because it goes on so thick. Um, now that I've been working on my skincare routine, it really, really hasn't been as bad as it used to be with my redness and everything. But I do have a little bit of a piercing scar there. I don't really know what's up with that. I should probably see like a plastic surgeon about that, JK, maybe just a regular doctor. But yeah, with the red, I just put it like pretty much the um, T-zone right up on, on my like little parts of my nose there, a little bit on my chin and on my piercing scar. I'm actually fairly acne free right now thanks to those products I was sent from Go Sully Beauty. They are a distributor on Amazon of Korean beauty products and so I will be doing a full video review on that soon. So because like that is really awesome because basically you can get Korean beauty products on Amazon Prime which I'm like whoa whoa game changer. Okay so now I just kind of blend in the green with this um, IT concealer and you can see how thick that is. It is as thick as my mama. And I put that all over where I put the green concealer, but then I also put it underneath my eyes to give me that bright, glowy angel look. And then even on my eyelids sometimes, because it kind of works as an eye primer as well, if you set it with some powder first. And then I just blend it all in with my fingers. I have 
wash my hands when I wash my face and I feel like um, a beauty blender can actually work. <laughs> yes, a beauty blender can work really well if you wet it. But honestly, um, I like to save time in the morning because usually I don't have that much time. I'm usually in a hurry, but I'm really, really working on getting up earlier so I can do stuff like this and try to inspire other people to actually take time. Cody, I know you're good at makeup and hair, so you probably don't need that advice. But yeah, going to bed early is a new goal of mine right now just because I love to have time to do stuff like this. And I already went to the grocery store and everything this morning. I woke up at 7 and I wrote in my journal. Uh, mostly wrote, oh, wow, ooh, thank you. Whew. That's so funny because I'm still like halfway makeup list. So I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, so waking up early for me today was a, a, something I was really, really proud of, honestly. I have such a problem snoozing, 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 and then I sleep through my last alarm and I miss class. So that's not good for anybody. So now I'm going to go in, and this is just a BB cream. It's from Ramel. I, <laughs> yeah. Hey, Hunger Games. Welcome back. Nice to see you again. I'm really happy that you're joining us again. I actually wrote down your um, username in my... Um, journal because I was really really appreciative of that and I want to send you like a thank you message or thank you whatever I'm still thinking about what to do because I just really appreciate you coming out but yeah so I still rub um, my BB cream in with my fingers I do have a stifling brush which is also good for blending so this brush looks like this a little bit it's some reason like the hairs are kind of cut off now but a stipling brush also works really good for blending in BB cream and you can kind of dab it so that you can get like a natural look instead of looking any type of patchy way oh that's nice I hope that you enjoyed that I actually got it in landscape mode today oh yeah I, I felt you Cody I'm sure that you don't need, have those types of problems because you know, you have a big girl job. I just have a little girl school. No, I'm just kidding. But, yeah, I just, I have a problem with that. So, Cody, if you can give me any tips on what you do to wake up early and stuff, like, I'm trying to do it as best I can as by myself. And I think going to sleep early is a good step with that. But since I do a lot of design work, I'm a graphic designer, I always end up staying really late. To, I'm still blending. Just blend it all over. But yeah, lots of coffee. I know I actually had tea this morning because I um, I wasn't that tired when I woke up. So I wanted to have some relaxing tea. This is English bref breakfast tea that I got from somebody in my Lolita community, which was really awesome. She gave it as a Valentine's gift. And she gave everyone there like a whole package that also contained cookies. I ate all the cookies the first the night. <laughs> um, but yeah so now I'm pretty much done with my foundation set a schedule for yourself pick something you really want to do when you get up to do something for yourself first then it's a great day thank you so much for my that tip um, I tried to do that a bit this morning where I just did some simple yoga a little bit of meditation and stretching and I think that really did help me wake up a little bit more and I did some journaling so thanks for that tip and I'm going to try to think about the thing that makes me so the most happy in the morning and then go with that which usually involves scrolling on my phone but that needs to stop because then you get caught up in the trap of the webs <laughs> thanks man okay so the next thing I go in with is my um it's actually my bronzer this one is the um Bahama Mama one I got from Ipsy and what I'll do is I um, mentioned this yesterday but I don't do my cheekbones um, snapchat filters got that covered for me but I'll just really define my jawline so this first part of the makeup routine Hunger Games is pretty much the same um, I will do different stuff for more crazy looks but since I'm wearing a very casual coordinate today I am just going to do very simple face makeup. I'm going to try to go with some really light, bright pink blush to really bring this look together and have that really nice, youthful look. Okay, so you can see there, I really just blended in circles around my temples and on my jawline. And now, let's it's time for the nose. 
you're going to laugh at me, Hunger Games, because you saw this yesterday, because this is basically the picking the nose part. This is also good to do with the Beauty Blender, but um, I also find that you get a lot of control with your fingers, um, just because it's your nose, you need to treat your nose with kindness. You know what I mean. You know what I mean. So once I get a good amount of that on there, I just basically rub it really, really, really hard. And it's like you're trying to massage it into your soul. That's what I like to hear about that. And when you're doing your nose contour, don't forget to go all the way up to your eyebrows so it looks like you have a nose. Yes, you should sub. I don't even know how you've seen this without subscribing. I appreciate that, though. Thank you for finding me. But give it a, yes, give it, give me a sub if you haven't already. I appreciate that because this, this channel is all about growing confidence in kawaii fashion. So anybody here who can give compliments and give support to any ladies who might want that extra boost of confidence, I think you're very welcome here. Oh, um, well, I think this channel is very not sexual, so I think maybe you should consider subbing, but, um, I will not be your dom today. Ah, shut up, Cody. Oh, my God. Okay, so now we got the little contour babies in there, and now we're gonna reverse it, flip it and reverse it to do some highlight. And, um, <laughs> I mean, I was your dom at Anime Milwaukee, but we don't have to talk about that, right, Cody? Just kidding. So you said you wanted to hold a tea for your birthday, didn't you, girl? That would be fun. I got to check my schedule because um, I am really busy with softball in school, but I'd love to make time to come to Madison to um, actually meet that con because I've been part of it. Um, for a while, but I haven't been able to get that. Eh, no big deal. No big deal. <laughs> well, I feel like if you marry someone, you can't just marry their face. You have to marry the rest of them too, you know what I mean? Okay, so with my highlight, I just kind of go right on the tip of my nose and then I leave a little gap. And that makes it kind of look like you have a button nose, but if you, it, it really doesn't, but it it can give the illusion. Since we're doing a casual look, I'm not going to go all out with the contouring like that. But yeah, so um, this is pretty much my face makeup. I'm going to go ahead and do my eyebrows now, just so it looks like I actually have some eyebrows, and then we'll get to the eye makeup. Your birthday's on the 15th. Well, I'll remember that, and I'm going to maybe try to send you a care package at least. Let's take a sip of tea. While well, I've tried to find my eye brow pencil. Okay, so Hunger Games, if you were here yesterday, you saw that I used that red pencil. But today I'm actually going to go in first with this brow gel and see the type of difference that it makes. Because I got this from my Ipsy and it's just a clear defining gel. And it, um, I haven't gotten my eyebrows threaded in a while, so I think it will help everything kind of stay into place a little bit. <laughs> oh, you you, you have to watch out for my um, newest um, Anime Milwaukee vlog that's going to come out soon because no, we didn't make out, but um, it was as close as you could get. No, I'm just kidding. But she did do some awesome parkour that I'm going to be including in this uh, video that I'm, because I'm, I'm editing that because I had my softball tournament this weekend. Um, and I filmed there too, so I didn't really have time to edit this weekend. So you can see I'm going to go in here with this red, um, brow pencil. And then what we do after we get the red is we cover it in a little bit of brown to really blend that in and make it look like, uh, the opposite of Satan. You do not want to look satanic if you use red on your brows, okay? You do not want to look satanic unless you are going for a gothic Lolita look. But right now we are going for, oh, yeah, I saw that. I actually caught that on video. So hopefully you do not have nightmare flashbacks when you see that. I'm going to go, ooh, I have my smaller mirror right here. I have this My Melody mirror um, that I'm going to use to try to get a little bit more precision instead of just my phone um, camera. So... You can kind of see we got my melody here. It's the, the back of her. Um, 
just to make sure that I get this real nice and good. Let's see if we can get a good angle here. Okay. That's nice. You want to get that arch. You want to be on point. But then you also want to be a little bit for a, a quiet and soft glam makeup look. You want to be a little bit less arched and try to fill out your entire eyebrow if you have them. Um, just because that is a cornerstone of Korean and Japanese makeup looks. But I, I like to mix that with a little bit of Western influence. So um, basically we have this here and you can see they're pretty bright red right now. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over it with some brown. This is, we're taking it to Brown Town. Aw, that is so nice of you. Where did you find my live stream from, Robella? Robala? Wait, Robba. Do you play basketball or is that something else? Okay, so I'm going to just go back in with my Etude House palette, I believe. Or we could use... Mm, I have this Naked 3 palette, and this shade could be good for brows, but it looks like there is a little bit of sparkle in there. When you want to do your brows, you don't want to do a shimmery shade unless you are going for a very angelic, fairy look. Ugh, I have three Morphe palettes up here, and this is the one I need. This is my matte. I think it's called 35-0. And it has a lot of good shades. I will use it for contour and everything sometimes too. But then, so basically I have this tapered brush here. I have a brush cleaner too. Let's open this on camera. So I got this one from TJ Maxx. It's a little brush cleaner baby. I don't know if you've ever seen it before. Let me know if you... Oh, you've seen me on Instagram. Oh, that's cool. Well, I'm glad you think that. Because I was a little bit worried about my account like... Only because a lot of people into the kawaii culture and all that scene and the cosplay scene aren't necessarily athletic. So I like to show that it is possible to be athletic and to be kawaii all at the same time. So this is a brush cleaner. I never used it before, but it's really cute, isn't it? It's a little silicone baby. It looks like you can put stuff in there. You can flip it inside out if you needed to. Yeah, thank you. Um... So I'm going to clean off this tapered brush because I used it for green yesterday. And you can see it's actually really working. I don't know if you can see it, but you can see all that stuff coming off there. So that's kind of nice. Ooh, yeah. Yeah, baby. Okay, so you can see it came off a bit. You can see the colors there. Oh, what kind of instrument do you play, Bala? I, I also play instrument. I want to know what um, kind of instrument you play. So for my brows, I'm going to just swipe it over with like a color that's kind of like that. A lot of these are like similar. You play classical guitar. That's really cool. I play guitar too, but not of the classical variety. I have an electric and an acoustic guitar, and I'm practicing to do uh, anime covers, nylon string. Yeah, I've seen that before. A lot of um, like my family and stuff have classical guitars to play, but um, I'm not that good at finger picking. I learned, um, I started playing when I was around like 11 years old and I just learned covers of songs that I liked. <laughs> I mean, I do have a boyfriend, so you'll have to talk to him first, okay? Get the okay and then get back to me. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I... I cannot finger pick that well, so if you um, have any tips for finger picking, that sounds bad, but just let me know because I'm very interested in learning how to do more solos and stuff like that. I'm learning all my favorite songs from like video games and stuff on the um, guitars. I've learned the theme song for Evangelion Evolution. Um, yeah, yeah, just... Send me a message on Instagram or whatever. Try to keep it at least PG-13, you know what I'm saying? Um, so yeah, these are my brows. Let's see how it looks in the mirror because it looks all right in the um, camera. But let's see what we got here. Show me what you got. Ooh, it's qualified. No, that looks pretty good. Pretty good at making sound come out of instruments. Now the quality of that sound is a zero. Well, if you ever want to learn an instrument, Cody, let me know. Um... Because we could, to I could totally teach you some chords at least on guitar. I want to start doing guitar lessons and stuff soon. Okay, so 
I'm going to move on to my eyeshadow, and I haven't really thought about what kind of look I'm going to do yet, um, but I'm assuming I'm going to use my Etude House Play Color Eyes Palette because it has a lot of pink shades in there. And then, like I said yesterday, a lot of times I swatch it out on my hand first to make sure that the colors go together. So, um, the pinks that I'm wearing are kind of subdued, and I also have a lot of gold. Ukulele, you know, I don't know how to play uke, um, because the chords are different on ukulele, but you know who does know how to play ukulele? My, um, sister's dad. I know, I feel like I could learn. Um, my friend Helen, who you didn't get to meet at Anime Milwaukee, uh, she has a uke, um, so maybe I'll ask her to bring it out sometime. Okay, let's see if we got anything in here, because I know this palette, this is my Moschino and Sephora collection palette. Um, this one has some nice gold shades in there, too. So, I'm going to check out maybe this one this one looks like a true gold um so let's see here so i'm just like swatching it on my little thumbie here can you see it my little thumb oh yeah that looks pretty pretty together so i'm just gonna do a real soft look um and basically what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take my brush i don't want to use my tapered brush because i just use that for my eyebrows um it's in here it's in here Okay, so this is my double-sided little Luxie brush, and I'm going to use the blending side. <laughs> I'm going to use my blending side for this color right here. It is kind of like a duochrome shade with gold flecks, so I think that will blend in with the gold really well. And then what I do is I'm going to swipe that all up above, and this is my um outer lid shade and we're gonna bring the gold down into it so a lot of times actually if you want to get a really nice blended look you can take your brush and angle it kind of upwards and then move in circular motions which this is my blending shade so i want to try to do that and you can kind of see how that looks and i'm going to do it on the other side now too also, if you're watching right now, make sure you hit that um, like button. That will really help me out. I really appreciate that if you would do that while I'm blending it away. I am I blend like a champion. Woo. Woo. So I'm going to add a little bit more on here because the Etude House palettes do have um, a very blendability, but they also have kind of a lack of pigmentation, so you really got to layer that baby on. Okay, so that's a good starting point. Now I'm going to take my gold shade and I'm going to clean this brush off again because this one I use purple on, so let's clean it off a bit. Bro, 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 bro. Thanks for those likes. I appreciate that. Okay, we're going to clean that off a little bit. It didn't really work. Okay, this is like a three-step process, I think, but I'm only using one step. Ooh, this looks kind of pretty. Okay, so... Now I'm going to use the other side of that brush. This is more of like a packing side. You can kind of see that. Um, let's see if it focuses. Camera, go! No, it doesn't do that. Um, and I'm going to take this shade right here and swipe a little bit on there. This is like a real nice deep gold that I think will look really nice with the coordinate. And I'm going to put that all on the bottom of my lid and in the middle. So that we can get a nice blended look. Okay. So here we go. Have you ever touched your eyelid? Have you ever felt like you're touching your eyelid? Okay. So that's kind of nice. And what I'm going to do is do the other side. And then I'll show you some super secret tricks to looking super duper kawaii. Okay. So let's get this done. Let's get it started here. Let's get it started. Ha! Okay, so that looks kind of nice. I'm going to add a little bit more on each side. Um, yeah, that's nice. And then at the end, I'm going to blend everything together a little bit more. So I'm going to take a matte shade now. And a lot of these colors from this palette kind of match. I'm going to take this matte, like kind of like taupe type of shade right here. And put that 
in a nice placement like underneath my eye bags. Eye bags are really cute in Japan apparently according to what I have heard and so you kind of want to pronounce them a bit more and I'm going to do it a little bit more. So and make sure this is blended too. You want to blend it all out. I know it's kind of hard to see but let's look in the mirror. Oh this mirror isn't even real. The Etude House palette mirror has disappointed me. Okay, my melody, you've always been there for me. Okay, let's open this back up. Oop, saying hi. And then I'm going to take that taupe shade again and just rock it out. Rock it out with my cock it out. Okay. <laughs> I'm glad you think so because I'm like, this is getting worse and worse. No, I'm just kidding. Ooh, I'm glad you think so. Yeah, that's why I kind of like doing these makeup transformation looks on live stream because um, it's just something fun I can do before class, you know. So now I'm going to go on the other side. Uh, a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. You know what it means. You know how I'm doing. Okay. So this is kind of a nice shade, but it's a little bit close to my skin color. But it looks pretty nice. It is a little bit sparkly. And so now I'm kind of blending that top shade together with the bottom. That first pink I put on. And blending it all together. So that's an important part of looking very kawaii is to be very blended. You want to look soft. How do my classmates like the Lolita? Well, actually, everyone has been very supportive so far. They are really, really nice people, and I have been friends with them for a long time before I started doing Lolita. So when I, I started going to school in that, they just had a lot of questions for me, and some of them were more ignorant than others, like thinking that Lolita fashion has to do with, like, pedophilia and stuff like that, which is just completely untrue um but it came from a an ignorant place not a malicious place so I was happy to be able to inform them a little bit about Japanese street culture and stuff like that because um I know that it's kind of um but if you're not in the subculture you don't necessarily know about it so I didn't hold anything against them because of it um the other thing is my softball team they um, really enjoy it. They hype me up so much. I don't know if it's the kind of thing where they're joking around and they actually hate it, but they've never said anything straight to my face. And in fact, they hype me up a lot when I come into school wearing Lolita or come to practice to change wearing Lolita. They hype me up so, so much. It's really awesome, actually. And they, they think... It, I feel like they all kind of want to experiment with their style more, but just don't know exactly how to go about it so I think um it's really nice to be able to show these other young girls like that it is okay to be yourself okay so I'm almost getting done with the blending here and then I'm going to add my highlight in and this is where the kawaii magic comes in so I'm using my Tarte palette here and I just like this middle color because it's a really nice bright white and um I'm just going to use my finger for the inner corner and I'm going to find my good brush for the rest of it. <laughs> so you can kind of see this really opens up your eyes. And you kind of want it to look like big eyes, but I don't go over the top to make it look like I'm a living doll or anything. But um, above the part where I do the eye bags, I will sweep some color so that it does make my eyes appear wider. You know what I'm saying? So you can kind of see, it looks like I have really big eyes now. Uh, I like that look, especially with um, Kawhi and Lolita Fashion. Um, I don't tend to put any dark eyeliner on my um, water lid. Uh, my eyes are kind of like a blue hazel. They change colors. I don't know if that is actually... A real life thing or if it's just depending on what I'm wearing so some people say their eyes change colors based on their mood but I don't really that's not what mine do my eyes change colors based on what color is next to it kind of so okay I'm almost done with this white part 
Yours change? What color are they? Okay. So you can kind of see here, this is what we got. And I'm cover I'm trying to make sure that I cover my lower lashes so that they um disappear a bit. Based on what you're eating, oh I haven't heard that before. So now one step that I'm gonna take is taking a matte light shade that is more close. It's not a white shade, it's a little bit beige. Yes, that's what that's what I was thinking. Kind of like the reflection of the colors around them. And I literally sweep eyeshadow on my waterline. Is that looking creepy to you? <laughs> um, so now I'm doing the other side. Okay. So you can see my eyes kind of look pretty big now. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, I haven't heard as much of um, like brown eyes changing. So I think that's really, really awesome. I appreciate that. Okay, so let's look at this in the mirror and see what we've got so far. Wait, this is the wrong mirror. Yeah, I think so. I think I agree with that. Yeah, um, it could be based on your health too because I know how you smell is also based on your health and stuff like that, which is why I am trying to eat very much healthier. I got some nice vegetables this morning. So now I'm just doing my brow highlight, and I'm using the same color as I did with the um, inner corner highlight. I think that will help bring this look all together. Okay, so now before I do um, eyeliner or um, mascara, I am going to go in with some blush. And this is one of my favorite blush palettes. It's the Anastasia Beverly Hills. And um, let's see, I have a blush brush. It's just hard. Okay, no, nope, that's my stipling brush. <laughs> I have glasses, so I cannot see without them. Okay, okay, blush, blush brush. It hates me. It doesn't want me to find it. Oh, it's in here. <laughs> right where it's supposed to be, in the bag. Um, okay. So, I'm putting my glasses back up. And we're, it's time to party. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to take this light pink shade. I don't want it to be too dark because this is kind of more of a lighter look. But I just sweep that right underneath my eyes. And you kind of want to go underneath those eye bags that you have created. Ooh, yes, buddy. I like that. And then on the other side, two types of blush around the outside, around the outside of your eyeballs. Yeah, outside eyeballs. You know what I mean? Okay. So you can kind of see that. I don't like to add a lot. Cause, especially because I'm wearing glasses. That's why I'm going to do my eyeliner a bit darker because I am wearing my glasses today. So I just like my eyes to stand out a lot without having to wear falsies because who wants to do that and wear falsies to school? I mean, I know a lot of people who do it and I would like to do that, but I'm not that good at applying them yet. So uh, it kind of turns into a mess when I try to do it. Okay, so next thing I'm going to do is I am going to put my eyeliner on. This is the test of courage, the test of uniqueness. Wait, what was it? Courage, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. There we go. This is that test. So I am going to use a mirror for this because screw looking in my little camera slot for that. Um, aw, that makes me feel happy. You're not going to like this next one. Uniqueness, nerve and talent. Thank you. Because <laughs> I have to... <laughs> I, uh, Cody, you have a lot of charisma, uniqueness, nerve, and talent. I see it in your eyes. I see it in your smile. Okay. So I'm going to put on a lot of eyeliner today because I'm wearing my glasses. This is really nice. I'm going to try to keep talking. I don't know how it's going to work. So sometimes I don't like to do wings because wings don't necessarily match up with, like, you can do wings all you want. I'm not saying don't do wings when you're wearing Lolita, but it can be kind of cute to look, Shantae, you stay. Ah, thank you, girl. Thank you. Oh. That's kind of nice. That's nice. Yeah, wings can match up with the Lolita aesthetic, but if you're trying to do a softer look in Lolita, sometimes it's good to just go over the top of your 
um, regular lash line just because that's the way it is okay let's see what we got here this is a hard angle to do it at no okay oh shit I'm like all over the place okay Ooh, that was not bad. Okay, I need it to come out a little bit more, but I'm going to do it over here. Let's see, does that match? No. This side looks way better. Okay, don't hate me, you guys. Ooh, maybe I'll go on this side. That works. So for my eyeliner, I'm just using the, the NYX Vinyl Matte Eyeliner. I am trying to extend my lash line a little bit without giving myself a wing. I don't know if that matches. It kind of looks good. This side's more high than this side. Oh my gosh, thank you. Well, if it looks even to you, it must be perfect. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try a swipe. I'll do a little swipe one more time. Oh, thanks you. I have been doing makeup since I was a little, little baby. So, well, not a baby, but since I was in middle school. So, I have had a lot of practice. And basically, what I want to do is start making um, videos as opposed to live streams about makeup inspired by different prints of coordinates. So if that's something that you would be interested in seeing, maybe Cody or some other people who are watching, I'm not sure if you're actually into Lolita fashion, um, but I wanna do uh, makeup looks inspired by prints from different brands. So let me know in the comments or whatever, send me a message if there's any specific print that you would want me to do a makeup look off of. Oh my gosh. See, we have to get on makeup and on make out ready because I've got to do my lips. Lips and hips and nips. Besides the hips and nips part. <coughs> I I choked up on that. It was so beautiful. I couldn't even finish my speech. Okay. So for my lips, ooh, let's just go simple today. Um, let's see what colors I have in here. So I have this Burt's Bees grapefruit scented, um, basically just chapstick. And my lips are pretty chapped after going to the soft alternate. So let's see what this color looks like. It's kind of shiny. Mm-hmm. And it looks like a natural lip, so that's good. Yup. <laughs> totally. And you can see I keep these Burt's Bees in my um, Hello Kitty teacup that I got from McDonald's. I really like that one. Okay, so basically now what's left to do is powder. And I just use the Stay Matte by Ramel. It matches the um, it matches the BB cream that I have, so it should be around the same color. And this basically just sets everything in place for the rest of the day because I do have softball practice later. And so hopefully this doesn't turn a mess, get turned into a mess. Uh, um, so, oh yeah, mascara, it's an important part. Let's get this better than sex mascara on there. Yay, what are you going to get from the grocery store? I just went before the live feed. I'm almost done here. I'm going to do my hair too, but I'm not going to do it on this live stream because that would just take way too long um but this is the mascara i try not to do that weird little face but sometimes it comes out i don't do my bottom lashes so that i can maintain that big eyed effect but if i had falsies i might apply a couple underneath my eye bags so yeah that's how that works Ugh. fruit flies it's annoying Oh, your cabinets are empty. Yeah, that's how I felt, too. That's why I had to go this morning. Okay, so the last part of my makeup, and then we can say goodbye. Lots of ramen. Yep. 
uh, the, I love ramen from restaurants, but when I, it gets to be at the Martin ramen, I'm, I'm just like, honey, no, please, no more, no more. I got to the point where I just eat it raw. Okay. So this is my Urban Decay Up All Night D Slick Spray. Perfect. That was awesome. <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out, Cody, everyone else. I had a really fun time doing this again. Let me know if you liked this and want to see more or if you want me to do a specific <laughs> if you want me to do a specific print. Um, just let me know, message me or something else you'd like to see. I'm open to other stuff. So I really appreciate you dropping by. Let's get one more peek at this look that goes with this coordinate. Oh, my glasses messed up my hair. But yeah. Oh, maybe I'll take my glasses off because the reflection. Yep. So this is how it looks. Hopefully I'll be able to post some more pictures of the full out. <laughs> oh my god. Now I have to block you. Sorry. That's it. That's weird. I'm gonna go now after that. Bye pop stars. And weirdo. See you later. Thanks for, thanks for the moral support, Cody. Bye-bye. <laughs>